What are you doing down there? Locked out. Where have you been? Party. Ooze. Just let us in, will you? Oh, they were amazing. I haven't slept. Couldn't stop dancing. With Barry? Yeah. He's pretty good. Very good, actually. Oh, we had the best time. You dropped me. You didn't. What are you doing up? <laughs> she slept with Barry Barry. Oh, my God. Oh, what was it like? I hope you used protection. Of course we did. I am stupid. Come on, then. Spill the gory details. Oh. It was perfect. Oh, he's dead, you know, gentle and romantic. We are talking about Barry Barry, right? He's different when he's with me. Um, anyway, I've got to get this essay done for budging. That was you in yesterday. <laughs> no, Catherine is the one who dies, not Helen. <sighs> this is a great book, Mr Budgeon. One hopes that isn't the sum total of your coursework. I was just a little bit confused. You hear that? What? The school bell. No. Me neither. Morning, miss. Not so fast, Rhiannon. I've just marked your literacy assignment. You're showing no signs of improvement. What do you expect when I'm stuck in the sin bin? The unit is working for everybody else. Bully for them. It's that sort of attitude that's not helping. You have to understand the value of your education. Oh. Don't be distracted by the likes of Barry Barry. I'm serious, Rhiannon. You're a capable girl, and with the support of the unit, you will get some decent qualifications. <sighs> yeah? Is Mr. Clarkson still working? Wait, slow. Who wants to know? He used to teach me back in Rochdale. Pity we don't have your sauce here anymore. Some bloke in the paper yesterday got five years for arson. Lucky he got away with it. I didn't. I'm on probation, remember? Just saying, it could have been a lot worse. I might as well be in prison. Barnes transferred me to PRU. Hey. Hello. Uh, I never got a chance to say thanks for sticking up for me. It's all in the past. Yeah, you need my say so to trade here. Yeah. What's scared of a bit of competition? How about you give me those and we call it even? Three one. Hey, you, you pushing? Do you want this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ. Can't make lads. What? You stole my money. Is that true? I can't see no money. Oi! Hey, get off me! Well, oh, what's my name? What are you doing here? Uh, run manoeuvres in the area. You always said to pop in and see you, Mr. Clarkson. It's Tom now you're out in the big bad world. You're making yourself useful already. What's going on? He was nicking this kid's money. He owed me. Stick to your own battles, soldier boy. Don't bite off more than you can chew, Barry. Bolton was top dog while you were still in primary. Right, well, let's grab a cuppa. I'll give you the tour. I'll show him round. Maybe see a bit of the school as well. You're all right. You have come to see. You with me. Good morning, Sonia. Oh, it is now. You get married or something? No, why? Lost your eye for the ladies? <laughs> Out of practice, I guess. Bolton smile. The flesh, Mr. B. Okay, into the cooler. Come. 
Grade A troublemaker, that one. They used to say that about me. <sighs> you were a diamond in the roof. He is a snake in the grass. So? Is this what passes as fashion in the world of popular music? I wish. No, I had to swerve the MC thing. Got ripped off by too many promoters. This is for real. I signed up. Pity. I rather hoped that you would realise your musical ambitions. Well, you hated my music. Confiscated half my CDs in year 11. <laughs> One doesn't have to be an aficionado to rue the tragedy of the unfulfilled dream. That were your walking proof of that, eh, Mr B? Hmm. If that is the regard you hold us in, why are you back? I was passing. Nobody just passes this place. Tom said we'd always be welcome. Ah, Mr Clarkson. Ever the soft touch? Meaning? Former pupils rearing their ugly heads means only one thing, in my experience. Trouble. I'm not in no trouble. And I didn't come down with the last shower of rain. What are you tapping him up for? No, why don't you button that and keep that out of what don't concern you? It appears that the army have succeeded in removing the diamond and cultivating the roof. Is that you? What are you gonna do about it? Listen, I wanna get rid of him as much as you. I'm serious. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, here he is, Casanova. What are you on about? You are getting it on with Rihanna last night. In her dreams. She crashed my mate's party. <laughs> Couple of shares, but then she passed out on the sofa. <laughs> Who's a thought? My brother likes that much meat on his bone. Barry! Someone's keeping fit. Someone had to sell the car to pay the fine for perverting the course of justice. Ah, still, nothing like a brisk walk to clear the head. Without the bottle, there's not a lot to clear. You need something positive to focus on. There's a year 10 theatre trip next week, I suppose. Can't wait. It's more to life than work. Is there? My diary's so empty, I could still get a refund on it, Audrey. When can we have a proper catch-up? Well, I'm mad busy this morning, but I'm free at lunch. Why don't you go and have a look around the town? Do you want a drink? Uh, no, thanks. I'd rather hang here. Who's, who's this, then? This is Waterloo Road's original heartbreaker, Bolton Smiley. <laughs> Daniel Chalk, Waterloo Road's original geek. <laughs> <laughs> so, army, eh? Have you seen much action? He's been in Afghanistan. Wow. That must have been tough. Well, that's what we're trained for. We are all very proud of what you're doing out there. Heroes, one and all. Working class boys shanghaied as cannon fodder for corrupt politicians' phony wars do not heroes make. Don't see many crusty old English teachers being awarded the Victoria Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing fatigues? Surely dress uniform for official visits, no? Nicky was a captain in the army. Yeah, sorry. Uh, th this isn't official, ma'am. Just spare it a moment. At ease. It's fine. I'm a civvy now. Mr. Budgin. Knock! Oh, you spelt your name right. That's a start, I suppose. Rhiannon, wait a second. Um, perhaps you'd like to show Bolton around the school? It's all right. I'm cool staying here. Oh, it's, it's good if she spends time with someone like you. She doesn't get many positive role models. I don't suppose they come any more positive than you, mate. Leave that here. It's fine. I know this place, remember? Nothing nailed down goes walkies. It's not been such an issue since you left. I had the lads come to visit and not get press ganged into helping you with the PRU. If you have any issues about how I run things, please feel free to mention it tonight in the meeting. What have you said? But Barry, I never said nothing, promise. Scott, I've just got the wrong idea. Hey, chill. Can't blame a girl for having good taste. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool. Is that for me? 
Guilty. Just a little something. One of us now. Don't stop. Don't stop. Shoz. Don't so where do you want to go first? Perhaps the cooler, his natural habitat. Grumpy man. Give the lad a break. Blew that when he signed up. See, underneath all that bravado, that boy had talent. The army might be the making of him. The army breaks more men than it makes. Ah, this smoulder's all over Rochdale. <laughs> Don't be fooled, it's the same dump underneath. Oh, bling no thing, eh? Don't see the point of it, really. It's just a big fat waste of time. I hear that. School never did anything for me. And you've done all right for yourself. Miss Boston can stick her PRU. PR what? Where they send all the failures and troublemakers. Fob us off for one-on-one lessons and stuff. Oh, it's dead strict. Sounds a bundle of laughs. Glad we never had it. They stuck me at the front of the queue. <laughs> Danielle Harker. Always sniffing around me, she was. <laughs> Hi. Sonia. Michael's executive PA. Michael. A uh, teacher. Listen, if you need anything, you uh, let me know. That's my extension. <sighs> we used to get up to all sorts. Most improved student. Teacher speak for thick but tries. <laughs> Last I heard he was selling shoes in the Arndale. Do you miss your old mates? Where are all my boxing trophies? And where are they? I was district champ, that's more than any of these triads. There's a lot of stuff from the old school under the stage. Come on. So how long were you in Afghanistan? Six months last time. So what you get homesick? Bit more to worry about, like not getting your head shot off. Yeah, see it on the news. Bringing the coffins out of the planes is well sad. My best mate was in one of them coffins. Sorry. Me and my big gob. Not your bad. Signed up on the same day. Used to rip him for having this posh southern accent, but he was solid. We bunked together over there. Never seen a man as happy as when he found out his girlfriend was up the duff. And the next day... What were his name? Andy Turner. Ah. Miss Salt. The very person. Sorry, sir. I would just come in. Why? There's obviously nothing that we can teach you. A stunning piece of work. Uh, immaculately structured contextually spot-on, uh, analytical and yet deferential. You're obviously a Hemingway fan. Yeah, love him. <laughs> Don't lie, girl. Hey, easy. Have it to me. By the end of the day or you fail the course. So fail me. I don't need this. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. What do you expect when she's got you teaching her? Oh, and that's your excuse, is it, Smiley, for amounting to nothing? A tour in Afghanistan isn't nothing. I'm out there putting my life on the line so civvies like you can sleep easy in their beds. And a very fine job you're doing. Michael Byrne, head teacher. This is Lorraine Donegan, our school benefactor. Hi. How would you like to give a talk to our sixth form? Mm. Me? No, I don't... Uh... I think they find it far more inspirational than one of Mr Budgeon's classes. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? So what do you think, Bolton? Would you impart some wisdom for us? Be a long time waiting. I thought you were supposed to be teaching. No, really, a success story like yours could help focus the kids here on what they actually want to achieve. I mean, there's nothing more worthwhile than fighting for your country. So what do you think? Will you help us out? All right. You're on. Great. Assembly Hall, period four. See you then. Thank you. Mrs. Malbrou, you're coming with me at lunchtime. Time to put some fun back into life. What sort of fun? You'll see. Twenty-four, Cadet. Tenner. 
Just don't ask where to got it. Barry! Could you put out chairs in the hall for the sixth form talk, please? Sure, miss. Thank you. How's it going? Imogen, please. I just want to talk. I wouldn't be able to believe anything you said, so what's the point? Bless. Doesn't get it. Maybe we should spell it out for him. No one wants you, do you? Kev, chairs need putting out in the hall. I can't. I'm. Hey, ladies, have I got something for you? One each. Turn to chapter four, please. Hey. You want me to do some talk? Yeah, I heard. I'm looking forward to it. You'll be great. Oi! Start reading. Catch you later, yeah? Listen, uh, Michael's a bit behind, so I want you to do the report on the PRU. The meeting's tonight. Yeah, it's your baby. I'm sure you'll do whatever's necessary. Right. Hey, all set. This isn't what I came back for. <sighs> Thanks for standing up for me earlier. No problem. You'll be fine. Relax. You'll be great. Michael's been held up, so he said to start without him. So... Like that drink? Sure. See, so you haven't lost it then. Okay. It is my great pleasure to introduce a former pupil of ours, Bolton Smiley, who's very kindly agreed to come and share some of his experiences with us. Bolton. <laughs> Out of the trenches, over the top. And the best of the fish. There's one thing that school should teach you is that you can do something with your life. That's why I joined the army. <laughs> oh, hello, me. Thank you, Daniel. Oh, happy to help. <laughs> like father, like son. Well, adopted son. It's going well with Kevin then. Oh, he's a great lad. Do you know, he gave up his morning break just to put chairs out in the hall. <laughs> After the first phase of training, you can specialise into another area of interest or you can join the infantry and continue on to phase two. That's 28 weeks in total. There's plenty of chances to travel in the army and it's a great opportunity to see the world. Where has the army taken you, Bolton? Afghanistan.
Does anybody have any questions? Have you got a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Do you want one? <laughs> this country's at war. There's people dying over there. It's not a joke. Don't you ever get scared? It's better to die a hero than live as a coward. That's what our Sarge says. Have you ever killed anyone? Thank you. That question isn't relevant to this discussion. That's what the army does. It's never something a soldier wants to do. You have to remember it's for the greater good. Yeah, what she said. Yes, and that's exactly what the Taliban would say. Yeah, so what makes the British army any better than the terrorists? I'm not a terrorist, yeah? Have some respect. You don't know what it's like to lose someone. Right. All right, let's leave it there. Look, if any of you have any sensible questions about a career in the army, then I'm sure that Bolton would be happy to talk to you individually in the common room. See you later, guys. Hey, Libs. What do you think? Tenor. Whose lorry did that fall off, then? Does it matter? It will look great on you. Mind you. Anything will look great on you. I heard about you and Rhiannon. Are you kidding, right? <laughs> Rhiannon. What's wrong with me? I thought we had something. It was a joke. As if I'd seriously be interested in a monster like you. Oh, and you owe me a tenner for that. Barry, I asked you to put the chairs out at break time. I did? No, Kevin did. He offered to help? Well, Mr Chalk said he did it on his own. I needed a slash. Mr Chalk must have come in then. Leaving? Are you serious? Oh, Mr. Budgeon's gonna throw me off the course instead of handing that stupid essay about tonight. Then do it. It's a dead good book, you know. I loved it. No pipe. Come on, he's giving you a chance. The only thing he's ever given me is a headache. And I'm gonna fail anyway. That's what I told myself when I was ready to jack it in. But now I'm loving it. Oh, difference is you're gonna get your exams. If I can do it, then so can you. If you work at it, you'll enjoy it. You're wasting your breath. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna join the army. Right, um, I'll see you in the dining hall in a bit, Rhiannon. Will you show him where it is? I want to join the army. What? School's a waste of time and there's nothing left here for me. I would just sign up. Close off, sweetheart. We're talking here. You want to watch it? She'll be making all sorts of deluded rubbish up behind your back. The same as she did about Barry. Bolton's twice the man he is. See? Say who's stalker. Hey, leave off her. She's all right. Where's my backpack? Smiley, thank you for a fascinating insight into how my taxes are being wasted. Not so much Private Ryan, more Sergeant Bilko. Have you seen my backpack? Like you say, if it isn't nailed down. I swear, if you've taken it, I'll do what I always dreamt of. I'm sure I had it when I left here, come on. Oh, 
it's not in the toilet. Where else did you go? I had it when I came out the hall and I crushed all. Christine, you couldn't help us out with a bit of marking, could you? Year 10, Vanity Fair. Uh, yeah, sure. No, she can't. She's coming with me. Come on. It's you time. That lunatic needs locking up moon. What? Bolton Smiley threatened me with violence. I'm gonna make an official complaint. Well, you're lucky it's only a threat showing him up in front of everyone. I was merely putting forward the other side of the argument, as is my democratic right. This isn't about politics, Grantly. It's about common decency. And you haven't shown Bolton one ounce of that since he got here. Girls, have you seen my bag? Over there. Have you seen a massive army bag? Mm. Girls, have you seen my bag? It's a big army bag, come on. <sighs> I might have guessed you'd have it. Uh-uh. Is there a reward on top of the ten you owe me for the necklace? Hey, you ready for lunch? Oh, thank you. Salsa dancer. Are you off your rocker? You will love it. It's great for the soul. Come on, let's get you partnered up. Sorry we're late. I'll lead, shall I? Come on. I'll just mirror what I do and Don't you have something to say to Bolton? Hmm. Two words, one syllable each. Do you want me to go to Michael? <laughs> Mr. Smiley, uh, I would like to put it on record how thoughtful it is of you to grace our humble new abode with your presence. Are you for real? And, and I regret any misunderstanding. What's that, an apology? <clears throat> if you like. Somebody didn't get the message. I'm gonna blow that after you. Look, I know I'm getting what I deserve, but I really want the chance to make things right between us. Then it's not us. Here, made me think of you. To cover my scar. Yeah. You just don't get it, do you? I've accepted what I look like. I'm comfortable with it. You only bought this to hide what you did to me. I'm living with it. You have to as well. I've got to get rid of him once and for all. Move. 
Connor's back. What? Imogen does not deserve this. He messes with her, he messes with Meg, and that is not going to happen. I'm going to get him after school. Do to him what he did to her. You're not being serious. The bodies will have to drown, and when we make a threat, we see it through, or else we lose our respect. You can count me out. Did you hear all that? Gonna help us? I, I don't like violence. Either you're with us, or you're against us. So what did you want to talk to me about? Sounded important. Well, Sending me back to Afghanistan. Pre-fight nerves. Oh, it's more than that. Well, you've done it once. It must get easier the second time round, eh? It's not. I can't do it. Well, of course you can. No, you're more than just a soldier. You bolt and smile. You've never backed down from anything in your life. It's different this time. I'm too... I'm just... What? What's happened? I think I might be in a bit of trouble. What sort of trouble? Tom, SMT. Uh, could you send Michael my apologies, please? It's a three-line whip. It's an important meeting. So's this. Tom. Don't go anywhere. Whatever it is, we can sort it out. OK? Mr Barry being a handful again, is he? That boy is as slippery as a politician. Yeah, it's up all with Casey and all. I've suggested she take some work to show her dad tonight. If he takes an interest, maybe they will. They're visiting their father in prison? Yeah, they go every week. Just loosen up. Smile. Free up your hips. Just let the music take over. You know, Audrey, if, if this is your idea of fun, you can keep it. You go. Ooh, feisty. You're getting me all excited. Or maybe it's just the gun in my pocket. Right, sir. Thank you, Barry. Come on, you lot, inside, please. That's right. Thank you. Seen Bolton Smiley anywhere? Not since you were in Flower. I've just seen him. Trying to be the land speed record when he saw the military police. What? Where did he go? Fire, I think, but he was going full pelt. Anything I can do to help? Cover my registration, I'll go and find him. What's this? Homework. But I've already got homework. Well, now I'm giving you extra. It's not a problem, is it? Well, yet it is actually. Well, after the great job you did on the chairs this morning, I volunteered you to make tea for the PRU meeting later. Be back here after school. Visit me dad tonight. I'm sure he'll understand. No! You understand. 
Nobody messes with my family. Just be here, Barry. I want my money. Why don't you ask me for it after school, yeah? See you in half hour. Thanks. Oh, hello you. What do you think? I'm gonna wine and dine you the green at Quay. It looks great. Um, do you know which class Rhiannon's in? PRU is out of commission and it's numerous in the afternoon, so here they are. Oh no, Grantly Budgie, you're not fobbing this lot off on me. Hey, what are you doing back on the bad house? I'm still living numerous, you remember? Hey, what do you reckon? Are, are you mad? You know what I'm said? Never touch your guns. Guns, yeah, I know, but it's loaded. We'll make a mint selling it. It's like Dad's. You know the one I found in the shed? Got a real beating when he caught me playing with it. Well, he's in prison now. He don't want you in there too. Relax. I'll get rid of it tonight. Right. <sighs> Times tables it is then. What have you done with it? Done with what? It was in my pack. It's loaded. Oi! Come here. Do you want to tell me the real reason why you come back here? I don't know what you mean. No. Then why are you hiding from the military police? I'm out of it. No. Sorry for troubling you, sir. No, no, no. You tell me what's going on. I've been trying to tell you all day. Well, tell me now. I ran away. I can't go back there. After last time. What are you talking about? I'm a coward. What? That's why you died. My mate. We were going house to house. Supposed to have his back. I'm not a hero, man. Oh, don't let him send me back there. Um, um. <laughs> but what about the gun? What gun? Is Barry Barry's got it. Stay there. Which class is he in? Oh, but Mr Clarkson said to stay here. Oh, please, I've got to put this right. Sonia. Michael, buddy buddy's got Bolton's gun. Jade, eight sixes. Um, 48. Uh, Barry, Barry, nine sevens. Barry, nine sevens. They've invented something since you last did this, sir. It's called the calculator. Boy, you're not in one of your touchy feely one to ones with Ms. Diamond now. Nine sevens. Wait, what? Uh, if it's not, get out. I am going to put you on a plane back to Afghanistan myself if I have I to. am not going back there! Not you or anybody else is going to make me! Everybody outside, quickly please, come on, move! Oh. 
Where are you going? Look, I've got to get up there. No way. Look, he came to see me. It's up to me to get him out of here. Don't have time for this, all right? Play it by the book, Michael. That means we get everybody out as quickly as possible. That was a gun. I'm sure it's just a false alarm. There's no need to panic. Come on, everybody out, please. Out! What are you doing? Don't be stupid. Get back! Do as he says, Rhiannon. Casey! All right. Take it easy. You're the man. You're the man? What, do you think this is a joke? Making a gun? I'm sorry. Just let us go. Nobody's going anywhere. Get him to turn that noise off! Hello, Tom. <laughs> no, we're fine. Um, Bolton's got a gun and he would like the alarm. Coming, mind the stairs. Tom, police are on their way. I need to talk to Bolton. Let's leave this one to the professionals, please. I say, you coming. Come on. He's broke lost. Girlfriend pregnant, weren't you? Take her out. I'm not going anywhere. You stuck by me, and I'm sticking by you. Casey, please. No. They do not go back inside. They don't go back inside. You hear me? They go down. Maggie. Oh, I say, sorry I missed your calls. Um, tell Pete I'm glad his team won. And tell Turner's girl I'm sorry. <clears throat> when the going gets tough, the tough cry to mommy. Is that it? If you've got a death wish, just stop winding them up. Put the bloody gun down and stop being a prat. Oh. You're gonna shoot me? Hey, hey. What was it? Die a hero. Live a cow. Shut up! What passing bell? For these who die as cattle, only the monstrous anger of the guns. Oh, shut up! Ah.
Gareth Ellesmere. Killed. The Falklands. Lewis Shepard. Paralyzed. First Gulf War. Simon Evans. Shot. Paul. Beasley. Hit by shrapnel, both in Iraq. Both survived. Jessica Williams. Sean Clifton. Didn't. What was left of them was shipped back from Afghanistan in body bags. So don't think you've got the monopoly on grief, son. Years spent teaching them to make something of their lives. And for what? Hey. You're one of the lucky ones, Smiley. Too many good men have died already. So his mate now. You can't send him back to Afghanistan. We've got due process to follow. Are you going to send him to prison? We're going to take him to detention centre where he'll be assessed by psychiatrists for post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, he needs proper treatment, the best of us. He's a good lad. Not everyone's cut out to be a soldier. Are they taking him to prison? Whatever happens, he's not going back to war. Oh, you were all right this morning. He stood up for me, helped me out. I know it sounds stupid, but I wanted to be more like him. Hey, from what I heard you did in there, you're doing more than all right. I thought it was a replica. That's no defence. I was going to hand it in to Miss Diamond, but then she started talking about the PRU meeting, and he offered to make refreshments. I wanted to help. You forgot that you had a gun. I'm not stupid. My dad's in prison for using one. And you're not far behind him. No way. I've seen what it's like. What it's done to me mum and Dynasty and Casey. We hate guns. Please, Michael. I don't want to be like him. I was trying to do the right thing. I was going to hand it in, honest. Place are waiting. Have you seen Connor? 
I told Dennis that I don't want anything to do with it. To do with what? Don't act like you don't know. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I'm going to arrange counselling for anyone that needs it. Which budget is that coming out of? I'll find an area where there's an underspend. Now, I'll tell you what. Why don't we take it out of the funds we ring-fenced for the PRU? What? I'm closing the unit. But the report? Gun in class. Nikki, it was one of your students. Anyone else would have handed it in. Lorraine, I know that what happened today doesn't look good, but the report shows that our pupils are making academic progress. Let's not be hasty. This isn't the fault of the PRU. Sorry. Decision made. Rhiannon. Can I hang this picture of Bolton in the PRU? There isn't going to be a PRU anymore. What? You can't close it without it had dropped out ages ago. Sorry, Rhiannon. I want to do something with well in my life like Bolton. I know I don't have what it takes to join the army, but I can still make something of myself. I need my education. She can only do that through the PRU. Please, Lorraine, it's more than teaching. I say it's working. Very moving. Will you pass your exams? I'm gonna try. One last chance. It's all about the exam results. I'm not convinced. Prove me wrong. And do I find the money for the counselling from elsewhere? No. I've got this. Audrey, I'm sorry about lunchtime. I didn't mean to seem ungrateful. Oh, I think nothing of it. Life's too short. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Grantly. I heard you were a real hero in there. If you'd listened to me, instead of hanging out the bunting, it wouldn't have been necessary. Rhiannon tells me you remembered the names of all the war casualties that you taught. Don't remember a single one. Made it all up. I want you to stay away. Look, I don't want any trouble. You should have thought of that before you hurt him, Jim. Get him. Yeah, get him. You're the mother. <laughs> Keep him down, hold him. Stay still. Hold him. I'm trying. What does it he say? An eye for an eye. Come on, then. Go on, get him. Don't think I won't. I don't care. I want you to. I deserve it. No, don't do this. This is wrong. You're going to hurt him. Shut up. Go on, Din, do him. Stop! Shh. Leave him alone. I'm doing this for you. I don't want revenge. Oh, for God's sake, we ain't actually gonna do it. We're just trying to scare him. Shh. You're welcome. What do you want from me? I've tried everything, Imogen. Sorry isn't enough. I'd let them burn me if it made any difference. If there was anything I could do, but there isn't, is there?
can't. I'm not ready. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that if anything did change between us, that I'd still be here for you, for both of you. We're giving the PIU pupils a chance to showcase themselves. Oh, that's a great idea. Next up is Mr Barry. Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs>